So today we're going to set up a document using MLA format. The first thing to check is the margins. Uh, newer versions of Word will usually go straight for the one inch margins, which is correct in MLA format, but some of the older versions don't, so it's usually safer to check. So to check, I'm going to go to page layout, select margins, and make sure that we've selected normal, one inch on all four sides. Our next step is to check the um, spacing. MLA requires double spaced documents, so if we click on this button next to paragraph, we can change the before and after settings to zero, line spacing to double, and then we click don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. And once we've made those adjustments, you can hit OK. Um, you can also set this to default so your computer will always use those settings. To create an MLA style document, um, you need to type in your name, the name of the instructor, the name of the class, and the date. And notice that the date um, goes day, month, year. That's the specific way it's set up for MLA formatting. Now our next step is to add a title. To add the title, you hit enter just to go on to the very next line, and then you center. So you can do that by hitting control E, or you can click on this button. Write your title. Um, notice that the document is double spaced, but I haven't ha added any extra spaces between the date and the title. And the same is true for the first paragraph. I hit enter again. I go to the left margin by either clicking this button or hitting control L. I hit tab to indent, and then I can begin typing my document here. This gets us pretty close to complete MLA format. There's just a few more things we have to do. The first is to add a header in the top right hand corner of the page. So to do that, we go to insert and choose page number. From page number, you choose top of page and you'll pick the one that goes on the right hand side. And here's our page number. Next to that, you're going to type your last name. Now notice that this particular font is Arial. The font in our document was Calibri, and neither of those is what MLA generally requires. Most of the time, it's Times New Roman. So I'm going to change this to Times New Roman before I leave the header. I go to the Home button. Among my fonts, I choose Times New Roman, and I want size 12, not size 11. Then when I'm ready to leave the header, I double click on the document, and I also have to fix the font of the document. So I can highlight the entire document by hitting Control A and switch Calibri to Times New Roman 12. And from here, your entire paper is set and ready to go. Um, you would continue typing your document here after the previous sentence. When you're ready for a new paragraph, simply hit Enter, Indent, and start a new paragraph. There's no need for extra spaces between paragraphs. And that's how it's done, setting up a document in MLA format on Microsoft Word.